get here, yeah, just try rip in for 35 minutes. Um, just stuff with, with all strength around riding, a uh, little bit of boxing as well. But um, yeah, lucky enough, one of my really good mates, Connor Wallace, who's, um, who's here, he takes us through all these little, um, little things with, with boxing. And yeah, we try to develop little, little uh, situations where it could uh, transfer that to riding, whether that's stability through your core, trying to, you know, little weights to, to, to manage that, the whipping style and yeah, just, just everything to work on balance and, and core strength. This will be the first thing you've done in a couple of weeks. <laughs> well, jockeys are riding five, six times a week. It's very grueling on the body. So if they can develop strength in those areas to just get that longer lasting, I guess, longer lasting career, longer lasting longevity through their body, they can ride, you know, all year long instead of three, four months and then their body's cool. I do a lot of training on, on the side myself, um, but I think it's good to have Brody there to just encourage me to do a few extra sessions. Um, and then I think you get a little bit more out of it when you're training in a group. I think, you know, we're obviously all competitive, so we get in here and uh, we all go pretty hard. Did you train this morning as well? Beast. He, obviously he's um, been a jockey, he understands the weight and stuff, so like obviously uh, when you've got a big day coming up race-wise or um, if you've got a bit of weight to lose or you're riding light, um, he knows how to manage that. Um, he knows when not to push too hard. Um, but the main thing is he knows that when we do need a hard session, he, he puts us to work. I think I'm at a lucky, a really lucky situation where, you know, most jockeys retire, let's say 50, 60, um, and by then, um, you know, the game's probably just started to change in different directions. So I guess I'm lucky that I'm still quite young in the game. They ring me on the way to the races and they talk about a plan and execute that plan to the best of their abilities. And then we talk about after, um, if it didn't eventuate, if it did, um, you know, that try to keep, keep as confident as possible because there's nothing worse than, you know, after a bad day. If you have a bad day, getting in the car and kicking yourself. And then there's also having a good day and, and someone being there to be able to support that good day. Really good just to have a second opinion in your corner. I think since joining Brody, I, um, I've really turned a corner in just um, probably f being a little bit more dedicated um, and probably really, um, even though it's not a lot and it doesn't need to sort of be very hands-on, it's just little niggles that can really um, help you want to do better. The inside there is Outback Action. Just in front, the inside's Hudson Delight from Kanazawa. Hudson Delight. Hudson Delight has just won it. Jack Guthman Chester for Peter Robel. I always had faith in myself that I had the ability to be in town. Um, but as I said before, I was probably one of my, my worst own enemy. Um, I was just happy to be getting good rides, ride winners. Um, I didn't really care where I was riding the winners. But um, obviously I've been in town as an apprentice and won the premiership and then obviously um, through my probably own doing, I ended up back at the Provincials and probably just didn't strive hard enough to, to want to be better and I was just, took every day as it comes and just very, um, I'd say I was very laid back, and casual. This season it's to really base myself in town um, and be getting good support and ride plenty of winners and try, and try and set myself up to be in the top sort of 10 Metro jockeys at the end of the season. Having these goals with Brody to push me, um, I think it's just shown in the last six months that look, we can be there, um, but we just got to put ourselves in a position and um, take every opportunity we can.